Hello, I'm Alexander Alexan, and today I will show how to make shell plates in ShapeMaker. We will learn how to make shell plates, how to fold these shell plates, what kind of workshop documentation we can prepare for shipyards, and look at shell plates on the real project example. Let's start with the shell plates definition. I choose fishing vessel surface as an example. Let's start with the seams and butt definition and make a new block for that. First, we will define unit butts. After that, unit seams. For making internal seams and butts, I will use another block and I will change the color. Probably we will have to define margin lines between units. For that, I will also use another block. Name of this block is like a standard and cannot be changed. Now change color of the margin lines. Let's add text attributes for all lines. Such text we will use in output documentation for identification of the lines.
Now everything is ready to start making shell plates of our new unit. For that, we will create new block called units and the sub block with unit number, where we will put our shell plates. Now we change the color for shell plates. Shell plates can be defined on closed contours. To make the contours closed, we have to make intersection point between scenes and buds in our model. Now we can start with the shell plate definition. Contour is not closed because we missed one intersection point. Shell plates is created now. Then we have to fill some thickness, material quality, and other parameters. Drawing number and identificator is used to transfer data into the Cadmatic system. Then we have to choose thickness direction, and our list are ready. Same way, we have to define all other plates in our unit. After each plate definition, you can see the window with folded contour of this plate and dimensions. Now we make all shell plates in our unit. Shell plates linked with seams and buds, and when you change position of the seam or bud, shell plates will follow. Now we can add marking lines of the internal structure. Such marking lines should be lines on the surface. We will make a new block for that.
For some of the marking lines, we can also add text identificators. Now, plates of our units are ready to make workshop documentation. Let's start with the shell plates folding. Expand our unit to world screen. Let's run folding dialog. In this dialog, you can fold one plate or wall unit. Unit shell plates can be defined on the port side or starboard or symmetrical. As a bending template, we will choose frames and longitudinals. You can also choose buttocks or water lines or any other kind of templates. You can define templates from horn or from base plane. For base plane, you have to set distance. Templates can be also defined from backside of the shell plate. Frame templates can be also produced. It is also important to set correct shrinkage factor. All plates are folded now. Let's look now at workshop documentation. In project folder, created subfolder plates, and inside this subfolder, we have a units. Inside the units, we have information about all our plates. Let's have a look at these files. Inside the first file, we have a contour of our plate in scale 1 to 1 with marking line and template lines. Additionally, we have information like a thickness, material quality, which can be used for nesting software. Next file contains sketches. On the first page, you can see all necessary information about plates, including diagonals for control geometry. Second page have a contour of 
plate, which you can manually produce with a rolling line. Next page. Have a points of the marking. Next page have a template lines, longitudinal template in our case. Then frames templates. Then template sketches. Additionally, in a separate folder, we have a list of files which is contain contours of the templates in scale one to one, which can be used for automatical nesting. These contours have a lines of intersection with the longitudinal templates. Let's have a look at shell plates examples on the real project. Here is shown our chip bottom unit.